finally got to Aldi again.
sheep. This is ridiculous. How am I gonna find all these in the trash? Alrighty, here we go with the haul. We have a case of bananas, and these organic ones are particularly enticing. We also have a case of plantains, and we, Frugal Daddy and I, are not big plantain people, but we know someone who is. So the word is going out to her. Come get some plantains. Alrighty, we have a sleeve of everything bagels. Yum, my favorite kind. And a package of brioche buns. It feels like, oh, that's the dog. I told Frugal Daddy, it feels like old times. Like we haven't seen brioche buns in a long time. It feels like the good old days. We have a head of iceberg lettuce and a cabbage. And I'm very, very excited about the cabbage. No offense, Iceberg Lettuce, because I love you too in your own special way. But I have been wanting to try fermenting, and I want to do a fermented cabbage and carrot combo. So I've just been waiting for a cabbage to come into my life, and there she is. We have a two-pound package of spaghetti and two packages that are one pound each, so also two pounds, of penne ragate. And see, this is this, this, see this now? Perfect example of why I stockpile spaghetti in my prepper pantry and not your bigger noodles like your ziti and your penne and your bow tie even. Because look, two pounds of pasta is taking up that much space, right? Two pounds of pasta is taking up that much space. It's just much more space efficient to stockpile your spaghetti, even though you might love your penne better. Ooh, we have some bright red strawberries. It's a 10 ounce container of your classic roasted garlic hummus. Yum. And ooh, yes, it's all coming together now. I was thinking earlier today about making some homemade crackers which I sometimes do with my, uh, you know, my sourdough starter runoff, basically, my discard. And um, I, I'll just pour it. There'll be a lot of it because I save it. And I'll pour it into a big baking sheet that I've spritzed a little bit with olive oil or something. So it, Or put parchment paper down, you know, so it doesn't stick because I've made it stick too. But anyway, and then just sprinkle it with everything bagel seasoning and some salt. And then when it comes out of the oven... Um, well, actually, like halfway through baking, you can pull it out and use like a pizza cutter to score it to make little cracker shapes and then put it back in the oven and crisp them up more and then bring them out and um, break them up. And then you have crackers that would go perfectly with this roasted garlic hummus. Hello? You started without me. We've been talking hummus. I wondered. I see you brought your little dog. Yes. I went in to change my shirt. That's nice. We've got oranges. The five on the left are navel oranges. And the other five, there's one hiding behind the strawberries, are caracaras. We have some onions. Uh -huh. There's a lot here that really fits into my um, canning and fermenting goals. Canning, planning. And I, out of jars. Like, I really need to go get some jars. But, yes, I have done some caramelized onions lately and jarred them up. And they're quite yum. And I'm excited about those. Italian sweet cream coffee creamer. You should love I, that, don't you? Should I tell them about Yes, the your, your favorite new beverage. A few times, <laughs> times ago, we got, uh, was it French vanilla? Yes, I think so. French vanilla? Just like that, but yeah, French yeah. vanilla. And I opened it and I thought, I don't really use creamer, but. Um, They're, <laughs> the apples are yeah, dented now. I ran out of milk. So mm -hmm. I just tried it to see if I should put it in the, my. In what, coffee. in your cereal? Oh. And it was so good. I thought, I'm drinking this. And I looked, it was like two calories or something or 15 calories. It was for a teaspoon or a tablespoon. 
But Are you sure it wasn't like 60 calories? It did, what did I turn, turn it around? Turn it. This one is Because it 35. has a lot of sugar. One tablespoon, 35 calories. And you would drink like a little juice glass of it. Yes, I drink a little juice glass of it. And then because it was so good, it it like made me go back for more. All right. Okay. Everybody's so surprised. Um, all right, we have two bags of apples. Know that you would be attracted to something really sweet. Cosmic crisp apples. They are big apples. They're half pound each. And then we also have your sugar bee. Sugar bee. I was going to say sugar bra, and I was like, that's not right. Sugar bee apples. I don't think I've ever even heard of that before, but they look like a, a really good, decent little apple. Are you literally going to start chugging that? Or are you just, you're just sniffing, just huffing the sweet cream creamer? Okay. Uh, I don't really have a glass. Did I pour it in my hand? Um, I, I just that would be my gross. Hands. I mean, you can drink it right out of the bottle if you yeah, really no one else is gonna want to. Nobody it. else is. But then again, I and mean, no one, well, the safety. top of the, it was sealed. Yeah. yeah and the safety seal was on it. Yeah. Was it at the bottom of the dumpster or at the top of the dumpster? Um, you pull, did you pull it out of like a swamp? Of... It was in the wet part of the box. <laughs> yeah. Should I? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Drink it. I'm only doing this for you. He means you guys, not for me. Oh, it's sweet. If you haven't you tried like this in like, your coffee, but you like something God. sweet. You know what it's like? It's like... Um, Melted ice cream. Yeah, it's like vanilla <laughs> ice cream. Wow. I'm just going to put this in the fridge. And Drink it. We have got two packages of mac and cheese. And then we have the Foaming Hand Sanitizer Dispenser. Uh, I think they're revamping their lavatory. I'll hold that up so they can... Oh, my gosh. So they can see how much soap is still in there. It's yeah. pretty full. Oh, yeah, they did. I, I want to can the zucchini. I was telling Frugal Daddy you can make um, zucchini taste like pineapple when you can it with pineapple juice. And I really, 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 really want to do it. So the onions, the zucchini, the cabbage. We need jars, yes. And... Did we I all also, see how full that was? It yeah, was this quite was in full. a box with other things, like garbage bags and things. Which we're getting to yes. in just and a second. They, um, they, they also had those big, you know, the big giant toilet paper rolls, those big ones? Yeah. And they're in that big plastic thing? Yeah. The big plastic thing was in the truck. I wonder if there was toilet paper in there. You would have seen it. Those There's big, big ones, yeah. Okay. All right, so we've got the four packages of zucchini that we're going to turn into pineapple. We've got celery, three lemons, so apple sauces. Oh, look, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Sliced Can you provolone. Go get me cream cheese. I need it. I know. I, 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 I uh, yes. Given enough time. Tomato. Don't forget the tomato. Yes, the other day I asked Frugal Daddy to pick up cream cheese because he was going to the Walmart for the milk. And he, I don't know if you forgot, I think you didn't get the text or something because the yeah. cream cheese was added later to the list. And uh, so we didn't have any. And I was all, where's my cream cheese? I can't remember ever buying cream cheese. And you were all, what cream cheese? Since we've started this little mission. And, uh, yeah, that's true. For a while there, we were finding a lot of cream cheese, but we haven't. Yeah. There's, you need to get out there, frugal daddy. I think there's. A, there, <clears throat> does that freeze well? Because there might be some in the freezer. Cream cheese. Um, it 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 changes the consistency in a way that I I don't love. It get, it gets crumbly, and uh, I think it's still okay for um. You know, cooking, baking. baking. Yeah, different recipes would be fine. All right, I have three packages of eggs, and there are several broken ones, but I counted up the good ones, and there are 31 good eggs. Just a lot of good eggs. Oh, it's the charcuterie snack tray. You've got little pieces of chows and some uncured pepperoni and olives. That's for you, frugal daddy. All vacuum sealed. Vacuum sealed indeed. Well, we have a mystery can, and it's a pretty tall can, so I am guessing spaghetti sauce you know how like hunt's spaghetti sauce comes in a can like that that's what i'm guessing that's my guess due to the size because it's sort of an unusual size hello mm. oh does it say uh october 2006 what are you serious <laughs> okay. that was in the back I'm, room for I'm, a while uh, I'm, I'm 
you're you're dr- drunk. you're drunk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drunk off uh, the creamer. October it fermented. 2026. <laughs> oh, that's good. Can you recognize that? Is there anything good on there that you can read? And no, it? I can read the October 2026. Pull any info off of that? No. I mean, it's not a fun mystery can meal if we figure out the mystery. We have a toilet paper. Enjoy. Always exciting. Open. Some of you might not use open toilet paper from a dumpster. But I'll tell you who will. Who will insist yeah, that, that on was, it. That was also in that box with the, with the other food. Oh, just like uh, like we're revamping the lab yeah, and so we're going to chuck away. everything. Oh, yeah. We have two little watermelon. It's a nice treat. We have a bag of sugar. What do we have here? I thought they were filters, but they are. Giant? Giant. Um, buffer? Yeah. Uh, giant scotch white pads. Yeah. Thick, thick ones, plus these, which are basically the same thing, but round to go on one of those like spinny floor polishers. Yeah. Yes. And then look, the little mini, get your buff puff, clean out your pores, or use it for a dish sponge. We have three big rolls of shrink wrap, cling film, yes, cling, cling film. That's, you know what, that's, um, remember yesterday regarding that little slipper chair in the living room of my mother's and i said we need to wrap that up with some saran wrap Uh and move it into the other back um dwelling we should probably wrap all of those yeah to you know Uh protect them and so look what came our way is a whole bunch of industrial strength uh saran wrap and then we have some uh garbage bags here those clear ones are folded over. Those are really big bags. They're like twice the regular garbage bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can yeah, they are, they are. Chairs or tables. Oh, yeah, and yeah. shrink wrap them. That's a good idea. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have an attachment here for, um, you know, like a vacuum kind of a thing. And another sort of a hose. I thought this was connected to something else that I found. And not this, but I found this also. Nice. Always good. And I found this. Not a golf club. Oh, a sprayer for the plants that they're always, yeah, killing and throwing out. Yes. That's a good. That's a good find. That's a very good find. Oh, look, a bottle of water. And this. I know. Mama's mouth just dropped open. My jaw dropped um, you didn't show me this. This was in the Aldi yeah, dumpster. Aldi dumpster yeah. Oh, choo, choo. that's very uh, um. <laughs> yeah, shotgunny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yep. Wow, and then sawed-off shotgunny. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's cool. Leaf blower, and can it? You know, I hate leaf blowers, but that's okay because mm-hmm. it was free. Can it vacuum? Yeah. No, that would. Oh. Be here. We don't. Well, want that it. would be cool though. Well, we already have a couple of those. Vacuums? Yes. But shaped like that? Yeah, the, it looks just like this, only it's got a... You uh, know what I'm thinking? Ghostbusters. Like in case there's some kind of spirit that you need to like suck up and get rid of out of the house. Yeah. That's why you need that to suck in also. Yeah. And that's the reason I took this because I thought this uh, might go there, but it doesn't. Yeah. This actually goes to our shop vac, that chrome one. That oh, found. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. Perfect size. There you go, sweetie. All right, and I think we have one more item back here, the Spin Sweeper Deluxe. And was it empty? No. No. It was brand new, still in the wrapping paper. Nice. This hasn't even been opened yet. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I hope it's sturdy. We could definitely use that upstairs. Definitely in the upstairs bathroom. Because the kitties have a tendency to spill their food, their little kibbles, and then we give it then away they for our play. one millionth um, customer, or our one millionth um, video. Our one millionth video. Our one millionth Try again. <laughs> yeah, subscriber. Subscriber. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be holding on to it for a long time. If that's what we're waiting Start for. Start subscribing. Hit that yeah. like button. Smash that bell button. That's right. You could win you the could spin win sweeper. Oh, all the parts are there. Right. The one million shopper. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there was an I Dream of Jeannie when she went to the grocery store and she was the one million shopper.
shopper. And she got all these prizes and stuff, but then she thought her master might be upset with her. Uh -huh. I love that show. I did too. I wanted to live in a bottle so badly. I kind of still do. Hang tight, Frugal Daddy. I'm going to go show them Helen's pick of the day, and then we will come back and get one more look at this amazing haul. Helen, 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 Helen. Show us your pick of the day. Oh, beautiful blueberries from Aston Family Farms. Fantastic. Thanks, Helen. All right, thank you for watching Dumpsterinos and Frugalisas. We hope you enjoyed the video. Here's one final look at Frugal Daddy's amazing haul. Lest you think that it's actually warm out here since he's in a, is it a short sleeve shirt? Or no, you have the sleeves are all long sleeve shirt, but sleeve. right. But still like, it's not actually like, I'm sure you're freezing. It's way too cold for that. I'm wearing a winter coat. Anyway, so that's how cold out it is. But it's a great haul, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you again soon. Please subscribe, like, share, comment below, and <clears throat> I'm choking. Um, what was the other thing? Share on social media, comment, thumbs up. Ring that bell. Oh, ring that bell, baby. Ring that bell. And a toast. A toast to you, frugalistas. <laughs> Everybody I raise your glass of sugar-filled creamer and just okay. chug away. Come on, skull. Skull it down. Skull.